this will be planted with um, spring barley in mm -hmm. fact again um, and that will be planted by the end of March okay. as long as the weather so yeah, we're sort of at the rather interesting crucial stage between the cover crops and the planting season then yes Okay. And will it be also on the same as the, the last field where you'll, um, you'll essentially um, you know, you'll spray the glyphosate and plant immediately or will you need to allow a certain amount of time for the... Uh this, uh, we, could do, we could do either. Um, we could either spray early, but um, I prefer to spray um, when we're... Um, when we're actually drilling because the roots if the roots are living they bind the soil together and then we make as little disturbance as possible mm -hmm. with the yeah. drill now what happens when you spray and of course they, we hear how effective glyphosate is at killing crops but what happens to the kale next to it uh the kale next to it will be unaffected because we um we will only spray on a still day so mm -hmm. a day like today when it's windy we wouldn't even dream of uh, hitching the sprayer on, let alone uh, bringing it out into the field. Um, we use technology and nozzles which um, make sure that the spray stays exactly where you want it to, okay. to land. So stories of drift is a little bit of an overstatement then? It's, it is in this day and age with the technology we have and we'll also spray early in the morning. Um, one of the worst times to spray with something like glyphosate is uh, on a very hot day late in the evening because yeah. it can then just be lifted up and drift because of the uh the the, the dew the moisture the, the well the the soil temperature is higher than the okay. air temperature so oh, yeah, it, okay. uh, it doesn't stay down on the ground so spraying first thing in the morning is um the most effective okay